And ahead of the 2023 polls, Nigerians have been advised to reject political merchants and vote buyers. In the State of the Nation broadcast on Sunday, seven overseer, the Citadel Global Community Church, Dr. Tunde Bakari, said when politicians get to power through vote buying, they do not think they owe the citizens any obligation. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikukoyedeko tells us more in this report. This is the Citadel Global Community Church, Oregon, Lagos State, on a typical Sunday morning. The service, as usual, kicked off with praise and worship as members relished the presence of God with beautiful renditions from the choir. To the business of the day, at exactly 10.45 a.m., Pastor Tunde Bakari mounted the podium and he headed straight for the broadcast, themed Bridging the Gap Between Politics and Governance. He said the purpose is to equip Nigerians with tools for electing good governance. Going down memory lane, Pastor Bakari harped on the need to shift from viewing politics merely as vehicle for grabbing and retaining power. He maintained that to bridge the gap between politics and governance, citizens must press the eject button on the beast use of bad politics. As a vehicle heading towards good governance, when we make good governance the central focus of our politics, when we jettison bad politics in its various forms and embrace the kind of politics that outputs good governance, then and only then will we welcome the new Nigeria, a nation that can become the peace, progress, prosperity, and possibilities capital of the world. Pastor Bakari took a swipe at the candidates of the APC and the PDP and declared that Nigeria is about witnessing new breeds of leaders. Lord is still the governor among the nations. Let us trust him to replace two evils with two goods. You think everything is closed, but a new chapter, a new book is about to be opened. All these four horses of the apocalypse running up and down are going nowhere. There's going to be a resurgence. A new thing will happen, and God will give Nigeria two people, two opportunities to choose to move the nation forward. The convener of the Save Nigeria group frowned at what he called divisive campaigns of the frontline candidates of the four major parties. Nevertheless, Bakari reassured that a new Nigeria will be established and the verdict of the 2023 election will be Nigeria wins. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.